in this video we'll break down how to create this really cool collage transition in Final Cut Pro 10 using assets from Cinepax. Now I use the paper effects bundle as well as the foreign currency pack in order to create this really cool transition. The link is going to be down in the description below so you can go ahead and purchase these really cool packs. They also come with free samples so if you don't want to actually spend money you can just get one of the free sample packs but I encourage you to buy the full pack and this video I'll be using the full pack. There probably are some free assets that I might be using this video but in order to create this whole transition you're going to have to download all of the packs and it definitely is a little bit pricey but I think it's well worth it you can create this you know, collage transition and there are a whole bunch of different things you can do with this all with these assets this is just one example once you download the packs from set packs all you're going to do is just going to import them like you would any normal overlay so just click on command I and just locate where you have it saved for example I have all my folders saved in my Samsung T7 so you can see cine packs and then you just scroll down so you can see here's the paper uh, paper bundle and then money effects I want to do like a 3d rain all I'm gonna do is just locate it select it and then just click import select because so you just have these saved in your desktop or your download section or in this case I have it saved on my hard drive and you're just going to import them like you would any normal overlay these are overlays you don't, don't put them in your motion template folder or your preset folder now in order to create this transition I'm going to use this really cool notebook transition now of course you don't have to do exactly what I do this is just an example and this video I just want to show you how to use these assets and hopefully give you some really cool ideas. So I'm going to decrease the timeline and I kind of have markers lined up kind of as guidelines. So as you can see, I had the notebook transition kind of just cover up the screen. So I'm going to kind of basically trim it. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll go over here and trim the notebook transition. So you can see it just comes on screen and then just covers the entire screen. And then we're going to use this basically as our first background. Now this is where your creativity can come in. So let's select this really cool like uh, a newspaper overlay. We're going to place it on top, place it right in the marker. And we want all these to end right where the first clip or the second clip starts. So we're just going to trim it. And as you can see, this really cool newspaper overlay. So now what you want to do is let's say I want to increase the scale a little bit. I want to take the rotation and rotate it. And let's just move the position over to something like this. And we can increase the scale a little bit more. So you can see this really cool newspaper overlay. Now I want to take this other really cool paper overlay. I'm going to place it, line it up with this marker. And then I'm just going to trim it. I basically have them offset or come on like every five frames. You can see, you see it comes on and then you, as you see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So I basically have these offset by five frames. So this really cool newspaper overlay. So let's go ahead and just kind of like frame overlay. Let's disable the clips and we're just going to find a photo we want to use. This can of course be whatever you want. So we're going to go ahead and take a photo and let's select this photo as an example. We're just going to place it underneath this really cool paper frame overlay and we're just going to trim the photo and we basically just have this lineup inside the actual paper overlay that you want to make sure you, you, you kind of scale it up move the position and make sure it's inside the paper overlay now you can crop it if you want to or a really easy method is to just use the draw mask so let's head over to all and we'll just type in mask and we can take the draw mask place it onto the clip itself and then you want to make sure it's on the clip and you're just going to trace around the outline of the paper frame and then as you can see there we go now the photo is completely inside the frame and we're just going to create a compound clip so we'll select the photo and the paper overlay, we'll just call um, option G, and we'll just call this paper overlay. You can name it, of course, whatever you want. We'll just do this paper overlay one, and then we're going to create a compound clip. And then we'll go ahead and just enable these clips, and then we're basically just going to line this up until we get the position that we want. So we just rotate it a little bit, and we can increase the scale and just move it over until we get it into a, get it into a position that we like, and that looks pretty good. So if I play the video now, these are kind of the paper assets. So let's play the video and see how it looks. See this really cool covers the screen, and you can see these little like paper overlays pop up on screen, and they're five frames apart. Now Cinepax also has a really cool letter pack. So kind of that magazine scrapbook kind of effect. So you can either have them as still images or have them as animating so you're basically just gonna place the letters on top and we'll just type in B to kind of like that's the first one we want and I guess that doesn't pop us there because here's a B so all you're gonna do is gonna place the scrapbook letters though I'm just gonna type out baby because that's gonna take a long time to redo all of this because this this part definitely takes a long time so what we're gonna do is you're gonna basically take it and let's just kind of scale it down to you know something we, something we like and be something like 
um, 55, and then we're going to take an A. So you see, obviously, all obviously has all the letters of the alphabet. So you just basically just spell it out. Unfortunately, this is the, it. Definitely is very time consuming. I wish there was a way to just kind of type it out and change the font. Unfortunately, there really is no way of doing that. So yeah, as you can see, it probably it, it definitely is a little time consuming. So let's take another B, and I'm just going to do just baby. This guy, I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's going to take a long time. So it's going to decrease the scale. So as you can see, you're just basically decreasing it. You're adjusting the position, and then we can just type in we want a Y so you see it's just a really cool thing that um, Cinepax offers that you're able to create these really cool like scrapbook or they give you these really cool scrapbook you'll cut out letters so we kind of scroll through until we find a Y okay so let's go ahead and just take the Y and we're just gonna place it underneath the actual clips and then again same thing too just gonna decrease the scale and just basically move it into the position that you want so we'll just do baby and actually you know what never mind we'll just kind of we'll, we'll do um, the baby just so it just so it looks a lot nicer so go ahead and you know again this is definitely very time consuming you can also kind of use it as in in the hard drive so you can go ahead and just locate the letters in the hard drive so we'll just do this we'll place it on top and we'll just spell out the name so let's decrease the scale we'll just do the baby obviously you know put whatever you, you want in the name of the artist or you know you can obviously do whatever you want it's all up to you and we'll take an a and we'll just place it underneath the d and let's go ahead and just decrease the scale and then move it into p the position that we want now this is actually really cool because these letters are actually animated so if i go ahead and play the clip or play this clip you can see the letters are kind of animating so if i play it as you can see you have this really cool animated so they have this they have still versions or you have these really cool animated versions now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of these and i'm just going to create a compound clip so click on this on option g and we'll just type in whatever we want the name to be so we'll just type in letters now, as you can see the duration isn't long enough to, to actually cover the end so it's really simple all we're going to do is we're going to open up the compound clip and we're just going to you know copy these letters so click on command c and we're just going to paste them kind of like a looping effect so we can have it last longer so wait till it turn to yellow and then we'll just paste it a couple times just so the duration is a little bit longer and then as you can see we can just stretch it out till it ends so it's the end of the first clip. So that's just a really a nice little trick. You can just, just in case the letters aren't long enough. So let's play the video. And then as you can see, you have these really cool animated letters. And of course, it's saving me want to move the position. So let's open up the show horizon. And we want to move the position a little bit over. You can obviously do whatever you want. And there you go. You've added these really cool like scrapbook letter effects to your video so let's go ahead and play the video you have these really cool animated scrapbook letter effects and there you go there's kind of all the paper assets so there you go now of course you use your own creativity and do your own thing but that's how i created that little like transition right there or that little sequence now cinepack also gives you these really cool money assets so let's place it onto the clip and kind of figure out where we actually want these or want it to actually happen so i kind of already know in my head where i want this to happen but it's going to be different for you so it's going to go frame by frame and i already know where i want it to start so you can see this is where the money is on the screen so let's place a marker and then we're going to line it up with this marker you know, this is just you know, what i do of course you can do whatever you, you know whatever whatever looks good to you this is just kind of how i want to do it so let's play as you can see this really cool fanning money effect so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the end of this marker because this is where we want to end and unfortunately there is no way really to kind of stop it and make them as you can see it keeps animating let's say we want to end it right here so you're going to click on so locate that po uh, point in the clip and click on option f to create a free frame all that's going to do is that's going to freeze that last um, frame because we want it to last the entire duration of this transition so let's go ahead and lift these from storyline and we're just going to decrease it and then we're just going to end this freeze frame right where the second clip starts so you can see and then it'll just basically freeze on screen this of course is you know different for you so let's go ahead and just kind of decrease it this is just what i want to do because i want to kind of have it hold on screen so if i play the clip as you can see and now see the paper thing kind of lasts on screen for that whole now it just kind of freezes because that's you know just in my opinion I, I want to look that way now i want a really cool like money frame overlay so i can use this one or it actually there's actually a really cool like foreign currency pack so if you don't want to use like american a currency and you want to use a foreign currency it actually cinepax has their own pack which is a foreign currency pack so it's all the different currencies i don't know if it's all of them but you know almost all of them so let's just take the money frame and we're just going to trim it and then this is how basically where, where we want the frame to happen now what we're going to do is we're going to locate a photo that we want to use so let's scroll up until we find a photo that we want to use and let's say we want to use this photo place it underneath the frame and since this frame covers the entire screen don't worry about masking it all you have to do is just increase the scale 
of this photo. So we're going to take the scale, uh, uh, click on the photo, take the scale, and we're just going to increase it so it makes sure it's completely the frame is just covering it and you don't see any of the background. Okay, let's say we want another money frame. So let's place it on top of the clip and we're just going to line it up with this marker. And again, you're just going to trim this overlay. And then we can just take another photo that we want to use. So let's scroll up until we want to find, you know, until we find the photo we want to use. Let's take the frame and maybe just we want to just move the position over a little bit so it lines up here. And then what you can basically just do is you'll obviously locate a photo that you want to use. So let's scroll up until we find a photo we want to use. Let's say we want to use this photo and let's just place it underneath this money frame. And we'll take the uh, trim tool and we're just going to trim it. And then we're just going to basically move it into position. So let's take the x-axis and we'll just move it into position, something like this. And we're just in this case, we'll just do the crop. As you can see, now you can just crop the image so the image fits inside the actual money frame, which will just make it look a lot cooler. And now let's create a compound clip and we'll just call this money frame. And then, of course, you can scale it up or rotate. Now you can move the entire thing as a group. So let's say I want to take this scale. I want to increase the scale a little bit. And I want to move the, the rotation a little bit. And I want to scale it up a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. Let's take the x-axis. And there you go. You have a really cool money frame overlay uh, on top of the clip. So let's play the video. And then, as you can see, the transition already is looking a lot better. Now, let's say we want to add, like, a really cool, like, 3D money um kind of like rain effect. So let's place it on top of the clip and kind of locate where we want it to happen. We want to have it start something like this. And then we're just going to trim the overlay. So basically this really cool like 3D money rain is coming and falling down the screen, which can just, it, it just, in my opinion, I think it looks really cool. So let's play the video and see how it looks like. And as you can see, this really cool, see this money rain is kind of just coming down. Now you may be asking, how do you create that really cool like cutout freeze frame transition? What you want to do is you want to head to the beginning of the second clip and you're just going to create a freeze frame. So click on option F to create a freeze frame. We're just going to freeze the first frame of that second clip. Now what you want to do is you want to take the draw mask and apply it, apply it onto the freeze frame and you're just going to simply cut out the, uh, the, the subject or the freeze frame. Now this is, you definitely want to take your time with this. I'm definitely going a, a little fast. I'm just doing it for the tutorial's sake, but definitely take your time with this freeze frame. You'll really make sure the mask is really precise, but I'm just going to do a really quick job just for the sake of the tutorial because I don't think you want to watch me, you know, mask up the subject for like, you know, 15, 20 minutes, but take your time with this. I definitely rush through that, but you have to apply the draw mask to cut out the subject. Now I'm going to change the duration of this freeze frame to 12 frames. So click on control D and we'll just do 12. Basically all it's going to do is that freeze frame is going to last on the screen for 12 frames. So if I play and there we go, it transitions into the next clip. Now here's a, a couple little things you want to do. I'll just show you how I created the freeze frame. Now I didn't come up with this concept or this way of doing it. I was inspired heavily by Brian Del Mata's video. So I'm going to take the opacity, I'm going to bring it all the way down to 100. So let's say you saw that video and you're wondering how to do that in Final Cut. Let me show you how to do it. So what you're going to do is click a keyframe on opacity and then you're going to go forward one, two, three, four, five frames. Place a marker and let's take the opacity, turn it all the way up to 100. And all that's going to do is you can see the freeze frame is just fading. As you can see, the freeze frame is just basically fading on the screen. Now I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. So let's head over here to blur. And I'm just going to apply a Gaussian blur onto the actual clip itself. And I'm basically just going to basically just going to keyframe the Gaussian blur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on the clip. And I'm going to take the Gaussian blur and turn it all the way down to zero. I'm going to place a keyframe on a mount. And I'm going to go to the place in the clip where it kind of faded on. So where the opacity is at 100%. I'm going to take the blur amount and change it up to 70. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the clip. So I'm going to go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm just going to go back one frame, place a marker, and then turn the blur down to zero. And there you go. So if I play the clip, as you can see, this really cool Gaussian blur is fading on with some Gaussian blur. And then as you can see, now you get this really clean kind of like blur transition. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It's this really cool blur transition. Now I'm going to also head to the beginning of the freeze frame. I'm going to take the scale, increase it to 140. I'm going to take the position, turn it down to 200, negative 250 um, pixels and then place a keyframe on scale and position. Go to this marker and we're basically just going to reset the position position to zero scale and we're just going to change it back to 100 so it's basically the scale position and opacity is being keyframed as well as you're adding some gaussian blur so if i play the video as you can see this is what it looks like and it just locks into place so if i play the video as you can see there we go 
that just looks really cool. There's just a really w cool way of doing it. Now, obviously, I didn't come up with this idea, this freeze frame idea. Again, I, I was inspired by Brian Dalmata, but I just wanted to show you how to create that freeze frame. If you watch his videos, I'm going to show you how to do it in Final Cut. So let's drag it on top. We want to make sure it's the very top layer, and it ends right where the second clip begins. So as you can see, here's where the second clip ends, and then as you can see, see that the freeze frame is ending. We want to make sure, you just want to make sure everything ends exactly where that second frame starts. So let's go ahead, I, I, I don't think I can decrease it yet. I decrease it as low as I possibly can. So here are all the layers. So let's go ahead and just play the video. And then as you can see, now you have this really, really cool collage transition. And there you go. This really clean, really simple collage transition. So if I go frame by frame, this is gonna give you a, a slower, a slow down version of it. So as you see, I'm just gonna go frame by frame, you this really cool notebook transition. Kind of just comes on the screen to basically cover up the screen. And then you have these really cool paper assets that come up on the screen. So you see this paper asset pops up, and I'll kind of go, I'll kind of open it up so as you can see. And then these really cool like scrapbook letters pop up on the screen, and then you have this really cool like money fan. Um, transition play on the screen and this really cool like 3d money pops up or starts falling down Then you have these really cool money frames and they have another money frame and then here comes the freeze frame and now the freeze frame is going to start to pop up on the screen and then as you can see it's going to just simply lock into place and there you go you have a really clean scrapbook collage transition and there you go that's how you create it. So obviously use the you know, concepts and the things I showed you in this video to create your own. Obviously don't just rip off and copy exactly what I did. You know, come up with your own ideas. But I just wanna share with you the concepts and the ideas and you know, basically how to do this. And again, use your own creativity, create some really cool transitions. Tag me on Instagram so I can go ahead and see them and there you go. That's how you create really cool collage transitions in Final Cut using Cinepax digital assets. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I put Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.